Hi, I'm Maya, a software engineer on the Telegraph team at Influx Data. And I'm Brian, director of IoT and Emerging Technology, also at Influx Data. And today we're going to be talking about Influx DB and the IoT stack. Absolutely. So what makes IoT stacks unique? Well, let's talk first about the stacks that most folks know, which are the enterprise IT stacks. What this is all about is consolidating your compute and your storage and all of your other technology into a place that's very safe and sound. So it's always powered, it always has network. And that sometimes is a data center that the company will run themselves. And that's sometimes a data center that they will rent from another company called the cloud. Now what happens is that in the IoT, you have lots and lots of distributed devices and distributed applications. And these can be anywhere all over the world. You might have wind farms, you might have oil rigs or whatever it might be. And these are also places where compute and storage and other technologies consolidated. But at the edge, you can't always guarantee that the network is going to be there, that the power is going to be there. So you have to actually handle those a little bit differently. So how does the edge change how companies set up their technology stacks? Well, oftentimes the compute is limited. So you want to use the smallest possible footprint of, of technology, whether it's for the data integration or for the applications you're writing there. So like for InfluxDB, we have uh, client libraries that you know you can, you can install right alongside the programs that you're developing for those edge devices. We also, of course, have Telegraph. There's a little bit more horsepower on those devices. You can install Telegraph and then take advantage of all of those conveniences of data collection and decoration and enrichment and all of that. And then finally, we're starting to see something really exciting from a select number of customers, which is actually taking the smallest version of our Influx DB and installing it there on the device itself. That way, all of the local data is persisted locally so that somebody who's responsible for managing that one particular turbine can actually see the information from that one particular turbine. But again, the person who's responsible for all of the turbines can see that consolidated view across all of those different devices and all of those different databases. The way this is done is that we have a replication feature that can actually take the data that's located in that database and push it up to another InfluxDB running either in the company's data center or in the cloud or in both. Sounds super useful. It is super useful and it's very exciting. If you're looking to add InfluxDB to your IoT stack, check out our documentation. And we can't wait to see what you build.